My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. And this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, happy Monday to you. Wake up. Uh, Huge weekend. We we hosted a big tournament at our warehouse. That'll come out in September. So we'll talk about that then. Uh, Yeah, voices are down. Been sick for a week. Luckily, the heat wave helped. And now it's time to bring people the news. Beautiful weather today and beautiful news. We start with the sports. Jim, we're obviously starting where every show is starting today. The Rockies National Series this weekend that had MLB's first pitch clock walk-off. This series was so big, we had two Rockies employees at our warehouse working for us this weekend instead. And they miss one of the more exciting walk-offs in history. No, it's, you know, when they made the rules, this was kind of like, you don't want this to happen. And then it happened. It was bases loaded, no outs, full count. So you can be like, well, you know, we were going to get a walk off and the pitcher was late, but the ump was late too. That's natural. Like he, he's got to feel the buzz assess sometimes. Like if they're like close, I think he felt the buzz gave the pitcher a beat because a big moment and still the pitcher's knee was down. So he's like, I got to call. I think it was Wendell stat too. But what I liked the most was Alan Trejo Yeah, had the water bucket. No idea who to dump it on. Right. He went one way and then just stops in his tracks like, wait, did he deserve it? Ump. Went the other way. Pitcher. Opposing pitcher. It's really rude. That would be really rude. That's a, that's a fight. If there was a heat wave going on, maybe it would have felt nice. It's just tough when you watch the video the first time and you see pitcher leg up and then the umpire's like, no. Mm-hmm. That's a tough visual because you'd rather just see the sport. Shady Rays. What was this almost a breakdown? It's a good one. Keith Richardson tried to fight the referee because he was TKO. Duh. Alberto Blast. Six Three, and O versus two, one, two Eight. and a half. Oh, really? Wow. The Birdo gap in show yeah, history. Alberto Blast is fun. If it was Albert Blasso, yes. Yeah, but you can Alberto Blast. Feels like they left out his last name. Hits him with the Birdo Blast. There's a T. It's wild. You just never really see this. Yeah. The ref gets in the middle, like, stop fighting. You're not who you are right now. And then he's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And he keeps jabbing and ducking. It goes on for a little while where the ref's like, hold on. I think the ref finally does stiff arm, like, to the neck. Yeah, he throats him a little bit. And then people come and help. He's fighting a defenseless man. Yeah. For five seconds? Which I know that's short. Not for Zach. (laughs) Oh. But a, def- a referee who's not trying to fight PE right is fighting a professional fighter for a couple seconds there and he doesn't land anything good. Well, he's knocked out. The ref the ref he stinks. The ref got confirmed correct immediately. No, you're not in the right mental state to f- continue this he fight. Can't even beat me up. Keith Richards. Jim In the more sports, one of the best competitors in the world. Joey Chestnut, you probably already heard about this. Because it is kind of big news for everyone. Signed with a vegan company? Nathan's hot dog contest said, you're out, Pop. It ultimately led to good news. Because now him and Kobayashi, the two legends of the eating game, are going to link up again. But now, Nathan's is in true trouble. Yeah. I, you give me 100 different days, I will choose Joey Chestnut versus Kobayashi head-to-head over the field any day. I'd pay to see that rather than watch this for free if I was forced the two options. I feel bad for the Nathan's hot dog competition. July 4th. Normally, it's kind of like a staple of the day. It's like, okay, before we really get into the teeth of it, let's watch these legends eat. There's no legends. There's no legends. There's just the crazy guy that hosts it. Yeah, he's funny, though. He's real funny. He's a legend. But (laughs) you could see that not being sports, but this is not sports. This is the traditional sport. Hunting to save your village. The first sport. There was a crocodile terrorizing the town of Bulla in Australia. What was that? Bulla. It was stalking the children, lunging out of the water at the kids. <laughs> it had reportedly taken multiple dogs from it's the a community. Problem. It's a problem. This croc was a problem. So the police, they found this croc. Boom! Shot it dead. Mm. Does the story end there? No. In a waste conscious move, they cooked the crocodile into tail soup. They barbecued a little bit of it, and a few pieces were wrapped in banana leaves and cooked underground. So three different methods of cooking. And also the cops had all the kids come up and like look at its teeth and inspect it. Like this is what's scary. That's how big it is. Huge crocodile. Look at the picture. Huge. Nothing like the whole community coming together and eating 
the town murderer. Like if this happened in 1770, this would be a day they would celebrate. A great day. Every year. And it was a great day. Um, Although someone did technically eat so facto eat their dog. This gator ate their dog. They came in hot like, oh, I'm going to eat this gator. You're out of the town. If you were to say that at the barbecue, yeah. they'd kick you out. And that's fine. I'm not I'm not a bullet guy. I'd stand out there in a heartbeat. Meanwhile, Germany, 52% of the population voted uh, to kill all the pigeons in a German town. By the way, that crocodile safety session was a police officer just fucking with the dead gator. Oh, yeah. Look at its tongue. Look at me kiss the gator. Now we will eat it. That's awesome. I was so happy for that town. Even happier for... Employee, employee of the week. week. It's, it's the employee, employee of the week. week. Employee of the month, Zach. Zach. <laughs> Uncontested. Joe's McFly. Wow. He's got his JM Gaming wow. tournament, Wii Baseball, wrapping up. Go check that out. Championship is coming up. And season five. He must have done well in it. He must have done really well. He must not have lost in the first round to someone talking right now. Season five of Guts premieres July 1st. If you haven't given that a try yet, go grab your loved one who doesn't enjoy spending time with you because they don't like watching sports. And watch playing guts with them. They will enjoy it. Most popular thing in our office. Yeah, it's like I got a cult following. So jump on now before we're on like big stages. Congrats to Joe's McFly. Got a lot of stuff coming out. That was the weekly dumb. Today's episode is brought to you by our good friends over at Shady Rays, who have quality shades built to last. I have my own pair. Jake has his own pair. You guys can have our pair as your own pair. It's summer. You need glasses. You're going to go to the beach. You're going to go to the pool. You're going to be going around. You're going to lose them. Well, Shady Rays not only is going to give you a good deal to get your first pair, which is 50% off two plus pairs when you use code DUMB, They also have their lost or broken replacement protection plan. You just trade them back in, get yourself another. Use code DUMB for 50% off two or more pairs of polarized sunglasses over at ShadyRays.com. What else does he host? That dude lays low. He might be a ghost. Every other day. Nah, he probably is on the food eating circuit. Just floats around. Like if I go to a clams casino contest in September, he's hosting that. Careful with that. Who are you rooting for? Joey Chestnut or Kobayashi? Mom mixed in the clams casino, like those pre-made ones, a little too regular during my childhood years. Someone called in a Domino's when I worked there in college. Got a clams casino pizza. I said, this is Domino's. We don't have that. Yeah. And if you were going to order that from Domino's, you're out. Clams Casino Domino's. It's basically just not on pizza. Anyway, 